Eh. Ross Song again, the rematch for him. So let's see. That's the first turn. Yes. Okay, okay. So load into the match. And take a look at the leaders and wonders. Pierre again. He's not mad that we didn't take him last game. Bill Gates, Churchill, Red Cross, finally Red Cross, but still no Manhattan Project. We see the Suez Canal and Cook and Columbus and Isabella. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Railroad, Ocean Liner, Bach, Bach, but no follow up. Great Wall, Wind City. No Zhushka. Zhushka free stream. He takes pyramids, so we get the Colosseum. And grab the engineering genius, I think. We can make those up in the next one. Yeah, and also for watching, you should probably overtake him even if you don't bid anything. <laughs> you always you always bet on me since I'm here, but I tried another tactic that is not better. Oh well. He also a Cleopatra, and he also likes the super early pyramids. I mean, I can see that. We get a Procrates and Colosseum, can elect him and build one stage, uh, not one stage, build one mine. Considering my win rate, it's statistically best to always pick you. Um, yeah, I mean, you also have the inside of uh, the actual game. I mean, before that, then yes, but also there's players who have an even higher win rate, so you would have to also calculate that. Oh, he goes for double H, A wonders, Acropolis and Pyramids. Very interesting. So I think we grab the iron. I like early irons. I could even think about grabbing which land as well. Next turn go for the lab, finish Colosseum, after that go for iron. I think I value the rich land. Ah, but not really. Let him have it. Go for the science. We have uh, good resource production soon with the iron, so go for science production instead. He also gets iron soon. Markets means extra resources. So, yeah, next turn we probably finish Colosseum, maybe take. You could take Eleanor. Not the biggest fan of Joan of Arc because we have the Colosseum already. So, yeah, with Hippocrates, we don't want to have him for too long, so we could even go for Eleanor next turn. A lot of interesting stuff that can happen. He goes for. Joan of Arc and Rich Land. He wants to go for Iron next turn. And again, the resources. I think we finished the Colosseum. Go for Ilianor. I mean, is Ilianor good? I mean, we can also grab Nostradamus next turn. Maybe get a free population. For the impacts, and then go for Iron next turn and Nostradamus. And then Raiders and Crusades are both pretty good. And then Immigration can go away because. Yeah, Eleanor also has value. But I still think Nostradamus is gonna be better. I mean, we said there was Suez Candle and Cook, so we could try to go for. Yeah, let's try that then. Let's try that with Eleanor. So do that first, because then we want to elect her already, I think. Also save some extra food. Has up and down sides, right? Not increasing population. Ooh, the game, or let's say Vlada rewards us with some nice territories, but punishes us with the development of warfare, but at least our opponent also can't take that one. So everything has upsides and downsides. As is tradition. Mm, 
I mean, this Acropolis is interesting. I'm not sure yet how much he's gonna get out of that. It's not the best second HA wonder. Wonder, I, I would, yeah, I would think. Hmm. I mean, it's good that he doesn't have to spend that many civil actions on it. But yeah, it goes for Iron, can upgrade two times. That's good for him. Go for John of Arc and Knights. So he doesn't get the monarchy. Usually with Acropolis you want the monarchy. Let's play the vast territory. We have a lot of planning and we can plan. Development of civil life. Yeah, that gives one extra civil action. Develop the iron. Upgrade. Maybe increase population two times. Grab the monarchy. Could go for the revolution next turn and build one warrior. So we keep the colonization cards and I guess we play this. Yeah, keep the territory and the colonization cards. He might get cartography, but I can't grab that for two. Also don't have the science and like this. I can go for the monarchy next turn maybe with uh, the revolution. And there's the volume of politics, so extra culture from Eleanor, even more colonization cards, so I like that. Finish that bottle of water. Put in the water plus. Let's see, we have reached 90 water refills because we're staying hydrated, so should you guys. Fast territory would be amazing to get. Theocracy for him. Okay, yeah, he still has Acropolis. Yeah, we should have a big party for 100 refills. We're gonna see. He's stronger, but I still... Yeah, let's play the inhabited territory. I have to do it. Dark Ages, not doing anything. Let's go for Monarchy and one Warrior. Keeps us out of corruption, makes us stronger. Gets us the Monarchy. Now, all of these are pretty bad, but I need to keep one card, I guess. I mean, I'm drawing three new runs. I want to keep all of the colonization cards because we have two territories. Let's click yes on hope to draw a good event, please. Yes, wealthy territory, that's a good event. I'll take that one. No, so I think this is looking interesting. Yeah, gambling just a little bit, but sometimes you just have to. Just repair, preparing the next bats. We have Ross Song this time in position one and myself on position two. So we can start those after his turn, maybe. Goes for monarchy. Another. Oh, also wants to be stronger. Yep. 24 hours tuned to celebrate 100 refills, and after that, we have uh, 200 refills. Uh, but yeah, starting the bets now, you guys uh, can decide who you think has the better position. We both have the same amount of civil actions and military actions as well. Yeah, just gonna play the wealthy territory. Yes, we have so many colonization cards, it's actually insane. I would bid all of them, yeah, I would. Only have to bid three, so that's nice. Oh, can you click them? Oh, you can double click them. You don't have to drag them. That's nice. Didn't know that. Um, sorry, I probably want the swordsman. Maybe breakthrough. Upgrade this. Go for one swordsman. Then I have corruption. That's not good. So let's try something else. I definitely want the swordsman. I guess I can't upgrade. Increase population two times because I want the breakthrough. Yeah, breakthrough is more important than upgrading right now. We have a lot of resources, we don't have the science. Swordsman, pretty good.
I guess I don't need all of the colonization cards. Keep the new deposits in. Because that might be nice for us. Why is the name Pierre de Botteron? Uh, because it's uh, Pierre. Pierre the Bot. It's like Pierre de Coubertin. Uh, but it's Pierre de Botteron. You know? I, I thought that was funny. Don't know if you guys uh, are a fan of that, but that's his name. That's Pierre's name. And this time we have a lot of believers, a lot of bets on me, only one on Hua Song. Uh, Damon Cleaner this time going against the grain again, betting on Hua Song. <laughs> you like my French accent? Uh, I'm pretty good at French. Yes. Pierre and Blaise Blah. Let's see, he is preparing and growth irrigation. He might want to go for Ocean Liner, but I can't really deny that from him. Also, it's pretty expensive for him. But yeah, we are Leonor. We want to keep playing cards. Let's play the new deposits. Call to Arms, draw even more cards. That's actually not, not that bad with Eleanor. I mean, it's still bad, but not that bad, right? Both of these. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Maybe get the Samtic method next turn so we don't take anything that stays on two. Spend that one extra military action. We want to upgrade them at some point anyway. Reds. Samtic breakthroughs could be nice. Of territory we can get rid of one of those and the ravages of time also don't seem that good keep one war because they're always nice and i guess uh, i guess we can't keep the war also seems pretty unrealistic to go for a war i don't think we really have to why not keep the warrior for colony i guess that's true i guess we have enough military actions Good point, good point erased. Or you get rid of this and big breakthrough and keep the war. Ah, let's not go for the war. And get a lot of culture from Eleonore. You should try with Pierre de Botteron. Yeah, that's what I said, right? I mean, that's his name, Pierre de Botteron. I mean, I don't know how to pronounce that exactly, but new posits. I wouldn't be surprised to see Ocean and I grab by him now. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised at all. Maybe even Maria Teresa as well. But Oceaner for three. Maybe go for Code of Laws. As my plan is uh, Suez Candle and Cook, maybe. If we draw a good uh, tactic. But yeah, I would. Oh, I sh also should end the bet. So if anyone else wants to bet, do that right now, or it's too late. So you have like uh, I don't know five seconds. Yeah, it goes for Ocean Liner. Can finish that next turn. It's also not looking bad for him, definitely. But yeah, stop stopping the bets now. And we're gonna play the Sandvik Breakthrough, I guess. And we're gonna go for Sandvik Method. Go for that next turn. Probably better than Call to Arms. Inhabited Territory. We would send away the Swordsman. Said we didn't draw any colonization cards from H2. So that sucks quite a bit, right? We've drawn so many cards from Ilionor, especially. Ah, but we get it for. I mean, we could still send away the Swordsman and keep those colonization cards for the next territory. It's one resource difference, right? And a military action. But I still think I want to keep those. Because we haven't drawn any new ones and there's one more wealthy territory there. Um, so yeah, go for rebuilding one. Increase population. Scientific method. Can even go for another iron, maybe. Vision upgrade. And... 
mean, you could go for Maria Teresa. But you could also go for, yeah, all of the other ones. Could even go for Shakespeare. But I like the extra iron, more resource production. I also would like the justice system. So you can actually just go for one more swordsman. So next turn go for scientific method. Justice system is very nice. And we're gonna send away one swordsman probably for the wealthy territory. So this makes a lot of sense as well. We could go for arms industry over the Cold War. We produce a lot of science soon, he doesn't. Yeah. Also, again, I have to go to the toilet. I'm doing it too much, but that is good because we're staying hydrated. Drawing another territory and another colonization card is also pretty good. He played fast again. Did you guys decide already how much I should bet? And if we're honest, not more than this. We get another one. And now that we don't have any more territories in there, I think we send away the warrior. We're not gonna play the wealthy territory, probably. Ah, let's do this. 17 resources, we could even go for journalisms, right? Set of the scientific methods, what does the H3 leaders, they say Bill Gates, but they also say Fleming. We still have Bach here, but I think we might be going for Cook. So Oceanliner, okay, he wants to go for journalism. We both have a lot of good things going. Um, I would say. There's the Suez Canal. Luckily, you can't really grab that one away, so you can wait with that. Ooh, losing one population. That's not perfect, but also doesn't hurt too much. We even got the inhabited territory for the Suez Canal, so I think that's the plan. But not for this turn. Uh, this turn we go for the scientific method, right? And just build one, I guess. Upgrade another one. Take another breakthrough, we need more science, always more science. Don't have to go for Nobel, I, re I guess he will like the Nobel, but we can wait for Cook, I think. I'm gonna get a lot of territories. Next time play the wealthy territory into the deck. Go for Suez Canal with the inhabited territory. Yeah. It's looking like a strong colonization game. And that was the plan with Eleonor, and she has been working. There's Cook. Yes, yes, yes. I like that Cook. Rebellion, no problem. Anyhow, Yellow Bank's looking amazing. It's gonna look even better with the inhabited territory. And then we have different options. We have a lot of resource production. We have a lot of science production already. We have no problem with population. So yeah, we have uh, different options. We even have a very strong turn coming with Eleanor replacement. So maybe next time we grab Cook, play him, get those two selections back. So yeah, we have a lot of things going for us. I mean, he goes for two journalisms. Definitely likes those. And we have to grab the source Kennel for three. But yeah, play the wealthy. I mean, yeah. I 
guess I should go for the wealthy. I mean, there's... There is an argument to be made to go for the wealthy territory with the sewer scanner instead of inhabited because we need resources more than population. So our yellow bank is already looking so good. We have two more population here. And I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna go for cook. I'm gonna go for justice system. Sewer scanner. Finish that next turn, maybe grab both of these. Then we can go for the Napoleonic army. And then what do we want once we finish the sewers kennel? Do we want resources or population? I think we want resources. I mean, here we're gonna also get an amazing production. So on the long run, maybe we want the population more because we're gonna lose two. I mean, we're gonna get up to 12 resource production, so. Mm -hmm. It's not really threatening us. I still think Inhabited has to be strong. It also saves two civil actions, which we still need. And the wealthy territory is only one production for us. If we had like only three or four production, then the wealthy would be better. But we're gonna go up to 12 resource production. Yeah, then I think we go for this. Pestilence, so. Oh. Oh, oh, all right. I still have one more yellow in the Procrates uh, thing. That's true. But especially with this now, yeah, we go for Justice System. We go for Cook. Yeah, I can also try to win it again. That's true. We're going to get so much science from the scientific breakthrough. Get the cavalrymen and cannons for the Napoleonic army. Go up to four culture production from Cook. That's going to be some more soon as well keep the tactic keep the territory population of science seems i guess not that good maybe keep the image of strength instead we're gonna soon get a lot of strength i think so that could be very nice oh and develop territory I mean, could be better, but uh, we don't need the science. We don't need the yellow. Uh, we don't need the blue cubes because we have wealthy territory and the justice system. So I imagine we still want to go for the inhabited territory. Can play the developed territory, of course. That could be very nice. Okay, he goes for Centric Breakthrough. Then we probably don't want to go for Arms Industry. Don't want to open that. And my plan is probably go for Architecture if we can. Hi Bruno! You join us in a very interesting colonization game. Where we have Cook and Source Candle and three colonies already. More in hand. So I think I'm going to go for Architecture. Finish the Source Candle. And maybe research Cavalryman of Cannons and get the Arms Industry. I mean, it's not the biggest factor. You can also play another territory into the deck. Our fortification is the better tactic here. I mean, it's more efficient in general. But with us already having two Swordsmen, I guess we can send them away to the territories. So maybe just go for Cannons, yeah. That is a good point. We just could go for the Cannons. Yeah, it's probably better. Yeah, I still think I'm gonna play the developed territory into the deck. Have that in the deck. Arms industry. I mean, we're not gonna get nothing out of that. And he maybe goes for knights. But I don't think he's gonna go for rifleman this turn. Public for him, okay. Okay, rifleman as well. But doesn't go for them quite yet. Okay, let's uh, let's go, people. Let's go with the developed territory. Arms industry. Architecture. Finish uh, this one. Good 
one cannon. Seems good. Going for one cannon doesn't reveal too much. I don't think I need selective breeding. I mean, look at my yellow bank. I, I'm not starving. I even get one more yellow from that. I mean, yes, there's International Red Cross. So there is an argument to be made, but I also really want to be stronger than him. I mean... I, I paid two food to increase population. I have six in the bank. So that is already three population for me. And we're gonna get more yellow cubes from the developed territory. And we got an up to 12 resource production. Eh, this is looking pretty good. I guess we're gonna lose this card anyway. Uh, not guaranteed, so maybe keep it for now. It's better than the aggression, I think. And we draw a wall <laughs> and another territory. Okay. He might want to go for Bach and the Opera. I mean, that could be strong for him. Go for Bach. Grab the Opera, develop that, maybe rebuild these philosophies as Operas. Yeah, it could be good for him. But I mean, we have the architecture, we have all of the resources. In H3, we can decide what we want to go for. We can go for multimedias, we can go for movies. We have the population, we have the science, we have the resources, we have everything. We can go for wars. We have the war with technology. I mean, what we don't have is maybe military actions and other actions in general. But it's still fine, right? Four military actions is fine. Six civil action is fine. And it's a lot less than nine. Almost GG. Uh, I mean, I think he also is looking pretty strong, right? If you take a look... I mean, if you take a look at an H2 civilization and only see his, is going nice. He has uh, two journalism, spread and circuses for Pierre. He has iron, he has ocean liner. So usually would definitely say he's looking pretty strong. Iconoclasm could be bad. Oh, he goes to Napoleon, really. Ah, that is not good. He's not gonna win this by military because we have the resource production. Hey Lambda, welcome. Hope you're doing fine. Um, so, do I want to play the historic territory? Did I draw iconoclasm? I did, right. That's good then. I think I'm gonna play the historic territory. I mean, I could even go for navigation to secure the territory some more because he could have some colonization cards. And I'm gonna get stronger. And he just researched riflemen. He doesn't want to go for fortifications all of a sudden, so he could play that. Maybe even go for fundamentalism, but we can do that next turn, I guess. Getting stronger. Getting some more food production. Get navigation. And the opera. We need some map faces soon. Opera is still very efficient. We have the same culture production. The wave could be nice for him, but it's I don't think it's deciding. He could he could go for fundamentalism. I don't think he will. I think this is good. Architecture could potentially be very good. Of technology should be good for us. Maybe he could go for fundamentalism, that only costs a mind for him, but then he cripples his science production quite early. But I mean, five is not not horrendous. I mean, he still needs to get out of his strategy. So maybe he's not even thinking about the journalism. But yeah, the big factor is 12 resource production against uh, six. That is one up for our turn that we can get more than him. We have the attack, we can just... Yeah. 
pump out. Oh, he does go for fundamentalism and wave and reserves. Yeah, I guess maybe I should have gone for the fundamentalism. Has a tactic as well. There is Pierre. I might just take Pierre away. Don't want to give him Pierre. Can't even go for pro sports and then can go for architecture. I mean, not go for Pierre yet necessarily. Maybe just in the end. But I want these colonies out now. Let's play them with architecture and go for pro sports. Historic 2 instead. I. Uh, mm. I mean, it can disrupt some wars. That's nice. Let's see what he what he put in or what we put in. Crime Rev. Okay, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. Grab Pierre. Grab Pro Sports. Put some cannons. I mean, now we're missing some food soon. So I think it's good that we went for the... Yeah, it's pretty good that we went for the inhabited instead of the wealthy. We don't need resource, we need population. So that's good. Go up to 28 strength. It's gonna get harder and harder for him to get stronger. I don't have to go for wars myself, I think. Magnus Agriculture would be very good, yes. That would be very good. But we don't. Don't draw it. Yeah, then I would have taken the selective breeding, that's true. Instead of, I'm not sure what I did instead of that, but yeah. Oh, I just realized we gave him Bill Gates and computers. So that's not that nice. Yeah, both would have been pretty good for him. I was more afraid of uh, Pierre, because I think Pierre's very, very good for him. We have 35 science. Yeah, we want to go for democracy. Of so if he doesn't take that, which he of course could, probably is going to do that. But he also wants to go for computers, upgrade at least once. Maybe grab a wonder, but these are going to be gone. Yeah, he could have gone for five brilliant circuses, go up to ten culture production alone from that. Yeah, our technology should be very good for us if we can find this base to develop some H3 things like pro sports, tanks, etc. He also doesn't have the best spot to go for Red Cross. Also, he might not get the engineering. He can't take everything this turn. If he takes democracy, three civilizations gone, computers, Bill Gates, upgrading. Maybe he doesn't get engineering. I don't think it's over. Computers, urban growth. Okay. Get stronger again. But I mean, there's two territories in there now. We get democracy. I think we play the impact of technology now. Maybe it's gonna get computers, so maybe it's too early for that. Maybe we go for a bit of architecture. We have the engine. Uh, we have the architecture. We have uh, pro sports. Yeah, let's go for a bit of architecture. I think we're gonna go for something. It should be a territory. Nah, not the territory. So we give them resources, I guess. Yeah, let's give him resources. Small oof. I mean, there's two wealthy territories. That should have come out. And we can go for... We could even go for multimedia. And then air forces.
or not the multimedia, but for that we get the military build up. Opera. I mean, the uh, architecture maybe wasn't the best, I'm not sure. We could have even played the freedom of movement. I mean, I don't really need the military build up. I think I like this other way go for multimedias. Yeah, I have to take the air forces. I would like the reserves for food. So I don't even have to. I could just go for operas or the pro sports now to get stronger. Well, not stronger, but I mean, and air forces and reserves and tanks. Yeah, reserves for population gives. It's gonna give me two more population. That's gonna be very nice. Could even work for the international Red Cross. We go to up to eight culture production. I could think about not the pro spots but opera instead. Definitely democracy, maybe the opera instead. Yeah, I think I like that more. And then tanks. I don't really need the urban growth. And tanks could work for the input of technology. I guess he's gonna get that probably with all of those computers. So I could even take the urban growth. I have the cavalryman if I get the tactic. Yeah. This tactic is bad now. Hollywood could work. Red Cross. I mean, of course, it's also going to give a lot for the territories, like this one. Hope that we get it. For 10. 10 should be enough, and if not, then he has to spend so much for that. I, mean, I could even send more, but the biggest problem is population and not the resources. And there's another territory coming, so maybe he overbids on this one, or spends all of his cards. Okay, spends all his cards. Uh, balance is pretty bad. Government is also not that nice. I mean, it could be nice if we get the military theory. I mean, we can always go for the war if we get military actions. Uh, it's gonna be hard. But if we get the military theory, that war can still be possible with a couple of air forces. Go for computers, 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 all of the computers. I mean, yeah, wars seem unlikely now against that many resources. And yeah, that uh, input of architecture looks pretty foolish now, because I just don't have the population to go for that many pro sports. And yeah, against uh, input of technology also, I don't want to play that. Balance also not. Government has to be it, I guess. I want to play something. Turn swordsman into pro spots. I mean, I could go for freedom of movement. I guess it's better than the government that is bad for us. Because that might be good for him if we don't get the military theory. And then for the freedom of movement, we just get two culture and he doesn't get anything back. So I think I'm gonna go with the freedom of movement. We won't get military theory. I think he has to, or we just win by war, or we might win by war at least. I think, I mean, and the, even then, we it won't be that good for us. I mean, it's not gonna develop military theory. 
that even if we get the military theory, we still only get one more than him. And freedom of movement could be very nice. I guess that could also disrupt some wars that we might want to win. Let's go for him of government. Uh, so I'll try again with 10. Oh, we went up for 2 plus. Agriculture is good for us. Oh, yeah, right now it is. And he's probably, eh, he's probably not gonna upgrade. I mean, he might have to. But it's also gonna be hard. He gets two population out, all of that. So I could just build two. Operas. And he can't go for International Red Cross. Hollywood is not that good for him as well. I mean, he can go for movies and Hollywood, maybe. And Red Cross gives six for the finishing, but I could also think about taking Hollywood. And I don't even have to play reserves, just build one opera without the urban growth. Rip Hollywood. And I guess endowment. Take that away from him. Yeah, the wonder is gonna be very important. This way he doesn't get a real wonder. I mean, yeah, Red Cross is a real wonder, but. He doesn't have the food. He has reserves that he can play once, but he also has to worry about his food consumption. So I think taking the Wonder away is definitely important. He could go for like three movies and the Wonder. And then taking Endowment away is also important, I think. Science should never be good. Yeah, science is not gonna be good. To keep balance in agriculture. Variety, no, not so good. Patriotism, I guess if he wanted to go for the war still. We have 34 science, we both have too much science. Patriotism could be, I guess that could have been better than the endowment, but we can go for the war only if we get the military theory anyway. Can always respond by going fundamentalism. He has a lot of military actions all of a sudden, builds another army if he has to, destroy all of it. So I think the war can only work with military theory and like two air forces, maybe not even enough. Gonna lose a little bit of culture production soon because of losing Cook. Um, but then we get Pierre, but yeah, we can't really... Pierre maybe wasn't the best move. But if he had not gone for that, he could have... I guess maybe should have gone for Bill Gates instead. Ah, it's a... Yeah, it's a tricky... War calculation? I don't think he can go for war against this with air forces in hand. If we don't have to spend three military actions on the war, and we can just go for like two air forces. I don't think he can beat us. He needs to declare the war. Go for fundamentalism. Then he has quite a bit. Yeah, then he has some military actions, but he can't go for another army and air forces. Yeah, I guess when I took Pierre, the alternative would have been Gates, taken away from him, then he would have had no production. I mean, 6 is okay, but not against someone who has this much. But then he would have started with all of the culture production. I guess I was too afraid of that. Just a couple of movies do the same as even 5 Bread and Circuses. But I was afraid of the 5 Bread and Circuses. Because he didn't have the resources, so that's an easy way to get a lot of culture production. We'll go mechanized agriculture and international red cross. Uh, I mean, maybe. 
Could be nice for him. Getting that nice international red cross. And he gets one step away. Yeah, it's still good for him, especially because he gets six for all of the territories for finishing that. So I would have loved to take away both the Red Cross and the Hollywood, but I think Hollywood would have been better for him. And it can also still be very good for us, right? We can build two more operas and finish it. So our wonder won't be worse than his, and we have quite a big lead, right? We have 60 against 84, we have more production. His big limiter is now the civil actions, which sounds crazy with uh, nine civil actions for him, but still. He's gonna have a total of uh, 18 civil actions and in that he has to overtake us in culture production and get that wonder and everything else. I mean, yeah, he has 12 culture in the bank with the computers and Bill Gates, so we can't forget about that. So our lead actually isn't that big. So it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be an interesting end game here. And I'm I'm not sure who's gonna who's gonna take it. I think just international red cross and reserves are better for him. I mean yeah, that is the problem, right? As we said, 18 civil actions for him. If he grabs mechanized agriculture, um, has to upgrade two times. Then his turn for this turn is gone. He's not using any resources, not really using any science. We know that he doesn't have input of agriculture. So that would be alternative, right? Play the input of agriculture, go for the mechanized agriculture. But he doesn't have that extra bonus. There's even multimedia left. He could also... Oh, really? <laughs> He has to grab the military theory. He doesn't. Can he do this? I don't think he can. Yeah, you told me. You told me. We can hope to get this territory. So he's not gonna get for food production. So he can go for mechanized agriculture, I guess. Prosperity. Okay, that helps us. That definitely helps us a little bit. Okay, how do we do this? Um, we can destroy everything. That is not a problem. So we go for air forces. Maybe with the military theory. Can't play Pierre, but yeah, like this we win anyway. Right, yeah. Like this, there's no chance he wins. I mean, he might get the mechanized agriculture, and then that was pretty stupid, but like this we... Yeah, we just take away his culture and we win. We can't go for Hollywood or anything. I might guess we might destroy science instead then. Um, so we do everything the same, but we can't... I mean, we can increase his population once, right? So that is stupid not doing it. Go for military theory and then we destroy stuff. I think we're gonna destroy the science instead. Don't need that. There's no balance. Science he wins anyway. And then we actually can't even finish Hollywood. Yeah, that's a lot better. That is a lot better. Yeah, we leave him agriculture on the deck, but... I mean, this still looks good. Yeah, this is better. We don't need the science. I 
I mean, that is something he could calculate, right? He had all of that information. He didn't have a new tactic or anything. If he did his math right, he would have seen this. So he either he didn't have time because he ran out of time a little bit of his reserve. G100, another work of art. Either the thing is having problems or you didn't cheer. I don't know if that is on my end. I hope it's not on my end, but uh, or you're being cheeky and just writing G100. I think he just knew and lost and tried anyway. Yeah, maybe, maybe that. Maybe he thought maybe we don't see it. Yeah, like this, it's over. Glitch, yeah, but on which end is the glitch? Did it cheer? I, I didn't cheer, nope. I didn't get a notification. I mean, I can look once again somewhere. No, Twitch also doesn't give me anything. Oh. Yes, thank you very much, Drawdown. Um, another work of art. I was happy when I saw that I could win this war. The tricky part was destroying the uh, swordsman. First I thought I couldn't do it. Cheering works. Yeah, Proc Jam, cheering works. What a new invention. But thank you very much Bruno for the 100 bits. Really appreciate it. And this is quite an interesting match for sure. With that colonization strategy, with the Suez Canal. Um, and with this, this ending, it made it close again. Maybe my decision to take Pierre. I think it was a really hard decision. Because both things, Bill Gates gave him many resources. Pierre would have given him many culture production for very little resource. So maybe it still was a mistake to give him Bill Gates, but it worked. In the end, it worked. So that's good. Lucky it wasn't territory, but extra prop. Oh yeah, that's... I mean, I could have destroyed something, but the... If I had revealed the historic territory and I would bet for this, then I probably wouldn't have defended it. Because I needed that population. Guess I should have first looked at what I have to do. But I think we're gonna see another enormous bid on the historic territory. When we reveal that, I think we're gonna bid everything. Because we know all of the impacts, right? We know all of the impacts and it has nothing to do with military. So either he's really taking his time for his last turn or he's tilted and just left. So. We might have to wait three minutes uh, to get the exciting ending for this, so it's, as to not make it boring. Shoot any questions. Uh, we have done that before, was always kind of fun. But he, okay, forget about it. He is not mean. He just destroys population because he wants more strength. Yeah, now he gets stronger. 91. So maybe showing us what he could have done if the game was one more turn. But we're gonna reveal the territory. I guess he's gonna bid everything as well. So we don't. I guess we don't. We can go for Pierre. Pierre the king. Not even being used, but he's happy. We are happy. With the urban growth, I think I should be able to do this. Play reserves. Finish the Hollywood for another 18. Develop this technology. Perfect. This is perfection. Is this two games in a row? Who are sung lost from leaving us the military theory? I think in the in this game he didn't have a chance. I mean we might have to take another look, but I don't think I mean he went everything into military, right? He had no other chance to get that strength and still take the military theory for two civil actions. Can I get one movies? You want to be maximum efficient. Let's see. Can we go for one movies? Nope. No movies. 
No movies for us. Because we need all of the resources. Yeah, one resource left. Not enough for movies. Can't play the endowment for nothing. So, we were able to win against our song again. So, yesterday we played three games against RSD Heinz. Today we played uh, two games against Hua Song and won both. Chances are we would have lost the next game. He gets zero from his input of agriculture. Architecture six against 16. That was pretty bad playing that, but not the biggest problem. 23. So we did get the military theory. So we end up here. Not too bad as well. And those are the impacts. He gets 12 from Bill Gates. But yeah, with that war that we won, that he declared, that's always nice. We are able to win it. So that's really, really nice. Let's take a look what this means for TDF Pulse. After getting 5,400 experience, very nice, very nice. Uh, one third, uh, maybe one fourth to level 46. And then let's take a look here. We, uh, oh, let's uh, complete the match. Let's see what we get, uh, yeah. And gold age two. So after two comes three, and after that comes masters, I think. So we're pretty close to masters um, after beating Hua Song twice.